This video will demonstrate the features of our design as a solution to the conveyor belt problem. Our design uses a simple yet reliable conveyor system to transfer an object from one belt to another at a 90 degree angle. We chose a belt system as we felt this would be the most reliable system with minimal moving parts, all of which are easily serviceable. None of our parts are fixed permanently in place to allow for repair and or modification at a later date. Here you can see an exploded view of our system. The system contains nine parts and two sub-assemblies. The sub-assemblies contain the joint between our power roller and power source, in this case a motor. The power roller features a milled slot at each end to allow the motor to fit in place without any further fixings. This was designed with the idea of limiting the failure of screws causing the motor to simply spin freely without transferring motion to the roller. Here we see some stop frames of a 220mm square tray on its journey through our conveyor. As my partner discussed after a lecture, we had difficulty modelling a guide piece on SOLIDWORKS due to the complexity of the piece. I have attached the drawing to show its design. The piece will bridge the gap between conveyor 1 and our system. Here we have the design in motion. The guide piece will fix to the side of the stand and ensure that the tray makes a smooth transition from conveyor 1 to our system. Our design has ensured that the, there is minimal distance between our conveyor and conveyor 2.